This area of rural Mississippi, just north of Jackson, was going through hard times before a tornado left it looking like a war zone. It's one of the poorest areas of the U.S. And to now have to deal with all this is unimaginable. We could hear the wind and hear the, hear the, the roof peeling back. I don't know if we'll go through something like this. Officials believe at least 26 people died across Mississippi and Alabama, but it will take time to know for sure. So I'm looking around town and I'm saying, I know we can rebuild, but what you do with the devastation, what you do with all the... <laughs> the worst of the storm hit at night. You can see the tornado backlit by the bluish flash of lightning. It was huge. A super rare F4 that stayed on the ground for over an hour, cutting a path of destruction 274 kilometers long. President Joe Biden has now issued an emergency declaration, which makes funds available for recovery and rebuild. We are mindful of the fact that that will take time, but we are here for the time it will take. In the meantime, 20 million Southerners brace for a second round of storms through Sunday evening. With hail up to the size of tennis balls considered the biggest threat. Mike Gerlake, Global News.